Oh boy, what do we got going on here, Pops? All right, a lot of people ask me, how do I draw an ellipse? Do they? <laughs> well, not really. Who are you hanging out with? <laughs> but, you know, lots of times we'll make a quick jig like this for something that's small, or we can even make it to run a router on. Depending on what you want, you can make it any size you want. This is just a piece that's 90 degrees with a curve in it for the nails to ride in it. And that's and kind of the idea, right? You know, yep. ellipse has got two focal points, two, basically. Two axes, right. So all I do is I take the nails with my pencil that's sticking through, and I keep the nails in both tracks, and I'll draw half of the ellipse right here. Bring it around. Oh, check keep that going out. over to the other side. Look at that. And I have an ellipse. If this board was wide enough, I could go all the way around. Oh, look at that. It does just make it. So, I mean, an oval is an ellipse. An right. ellipse is an oval. And you guys are going to use them for arch windows, archways, design. all kinds of doorways, anything. Yep. All right. I don't like jigs because you always make them and you won't lend them to me. <laughs> all right, but let's say you don't know how to or don't even want to make a jig and you've got to make an ellipse real quick. You can do it with a piece of string. Now we're talking. All right, piece of string, a couple of nails. Draw a center line wherever you want it to go. Let's say, let's, let's try that. Put so a nail center there. line of the board this way, you're saying? In this case, I just use a center board, but yeah. you know, if you're doing a doorway or something, you have to figure it out a little bit different. Okay, so now I have two points that I can put my string on. I have a nail going in that string here. I can take this here. Now, before I tighten it around there, I'm going to stretch it out to where I think the top of the arch will be. So I'm going to get that pencil um, that we're working right. with. Now, wait a minute. I have a pencil in my pocket that's Ooh, special. Sorry. Let me show you what I did. All right, all right, all right. I said, well, I'm going to wrap that around like that, lock it in so it doesn't move. Now, I have a pencil that what I've done with it, I put a notch in the pencil. Okay, all the way around. Oh, to grab the string? You're right. So now the string will stay in the same position on the pencil. I bring it over like this, keep my pencil up and down straight while I move, tension on the spring, come around, draw my arch, keep my pencil up and down straight. I have to go on the other side of the nail, bring it around, keep going. Mirror image on that side. Yep. Right around to meet up with that one. Check that out. And there you have an ellipse drawn with two nails and a string. I mean, what you did was you decided what size ellipse you wanted, how far from the center to this outside edge right here right, on the shorter Right, by stretching line. my string. And yep. once you get that, everything else draws itself. Right, but I can also change this, too, to make it a bigger string. Right. A looser string will give me a broader, tighter string will make it narrower. That is very clever. I mean, you just rolled right through there. Yeah. I mean, we've done that in a pinch lots of times on the job site. Nice tip, Tommy. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.